middle point of the European Union. Yeah. But also here, not far away, former center of the European Union. So the European Union expands. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Traveling the World using Google Maps Street View imagery. If I ever get to write a book for children, it will be called Does Europe have a geographical center, a midpoint? Because this makes for a good fairy tale, or at least it will confuse the little child enough for it to fall asleep. Outside the construction workers are digging a hole and I'm gonna dig one here now. Where to even start? So my question is, is there a geographical point, geo-coordinates, that are in the center of Europe? Um, now the questions for the center are always difficult. If you want to look for the center of London, you find the point. But is it the center of London? London is not a rectangle or a square in its boundaries. How can it be the center? Um, and the same goes with Europe. Um, now, of course, various little places, villages claim to be the center. Um, for tourism purposes. Or maybe because they actually are by some sort of uh, measurement. This afternoon I was basically just playing around with the map. I was using, as some, quite some times before, the measuring tool to draw. And I would say, to recreate it here, I did something, something like this. Mm, yeah, perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps something like this. I did something like this. So this is basically including more or less mm -hmm, the European Union. And now, to find a center of that seems quite straightforward. Somewhere here off the shore of Norway. Well, actually not. This should be a bit lower. Yeah, well, somewhere here in Denmark or in the North Sea, somewhere there, somewhere in this radius, could be the center. If you make a box outside of the European Union, which assumes that also these waters here are, to that extent, part of the European Union, which is probably not the case. Now, you can also do another box, which oops, could be something like mm, yeah maybe like this a box of geographical europe not the european union these lines are curved because it's a globe it's a bit uh, stupid but i guess it's also well i mean you get the point certainly greece should be part of it um yeah and now we can do the same thing Something like this. Well, it's curved, so actually, well, maybe it was off the coast of Norway. But anyway, let's make this a little bit lower, so it makes more sense visually. Somewhere here in Scandinavia should be the center of Europe. But would anyone in Belgium believe that the center of Europe is, if not in Norway, then in Finland or Sweden? Well, let's approach the question a little bit different. This is a map of geographical Europe, which somehow goes from Portugal to the Ural Mountains in Russia, from the Arctic, because actually Svalbard, as we have learned, is still part of Norway, and Greenland technically is part of Denmark, so very far north. And here in the south, maybe some Greek islands are the lowest. So all of this taken into account, even on this map, if I just estimated somehow, the center would be yeah, somewhat here in yeah, kind of where Kaliningrad is. The map of the Euro European Union looks 
very different. How do you even measure here? We can try to connect the extreme points. Then you would maybe end up in Germany, which I think one would think makes more sense that Germany would be in the center of Europe, not because they deserve it, just because it happens to be quite central. But for whom, if you come from Finland, how is Germany central? Maybe France is for you, maybe Poland, or maybe the United Kingdom, or maybe none of these at all, and because your geographical points of reference are very somewhere else. Now in this Reddit thread, locations claiming to be the center of Europe, um, someone was kind enough to upload <laughs> this map, um, where all the red doins, uh, doins, <laughs> what am I talking about, all the red points claim to be the center of Europe. Um, some of them are in Lithuania, like Pumushkes here. Two of them are in Poland, Torun and Suchovia, or Suchovola. Then Dresden, Kraule, Dilove, and Klein Maischeid. Klein Maischeid. Now there are more than a thousand kilometers between these two. How can that be? Like, is it that far off? It's very difficult, so difficult that a whole Wikipedia article is devoted to the topic. Current claimants, cities that claim to be the center of Europe, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, most of them are in Northern or Eastern Europe. So I guess this goes, well, in regards to geographical Europe. Most of them are in Northern or Eastern Europe, the often forgotten part of Europe. Um, histor history of claims. The first official declaration of the center of Europe was made in 1975 by the Polish royal astronomer and cartographer Szymon Antoni Sobiakrajski. The town of Zuchowola, which we have just seen here. Slovakia claims there was a declaration that the center of Europe was located near the mining town of Kremnica. Transcarpathia, Ukraine, Austro-Hungarian Empire. <laughs> Soviet measurements, measurements done after World War II by Soviet scientists reconfirmed the Austrian-Hungarian claim that Rakhkiv and Dilovo to be the geographical center of Europe. These points are here, somewhere in the Carpathian Mountains that go, I don't know, somewhere here. Czech Republic, Sweden, Lithuania, Hungary, Belarus, Estonia, I cannot read all of that, but different measurements in different times, different political situations. Here we have the division of Europe into the cardinal directions and the central part with an area of one ninth of Europe from the geographical center in Lithuania. So Lithuania and that map would be in here, somewhere here, kind of in the middle of this. Here we see this black dot here in the middle, which would be the geographical center of Europe, which on our map would be, um, oops, would be somewhere, da, 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 be somewhere here. Not necessarily, or maybe it is would be Purnuskis, Purnuskis. Town I cannot find. Pur, pur Nuskes. Here we have Pur Nuskes. And here we have the first remark of ge geographical center of Europe. A landmark they have built here. Very nice, Lithuania. Very nice. But are you right about that? Well, the short answer is nobody knows. But we shall read a bit more. This goes back many years already, 15 members, same technique. The French um, calculations exclude such extra-European territories of the EU as French Polynesia. Yeah, okay, no colonies, no, uh, no, none, none of these things. 
a very difficult uh, undertaking, it seems. So all sorts of measurements are complicated by extreme points of Europe, far away island, or also extreme points of mainland Europe. So basically the outermost points as here the southern island of Greece with this little chair saying southern point of Europe. But is that really so? Well, after reading a little bit about it, I feel like it doesn't matter so much. Of course it does. I think there should be just more than one center <laughs> of Europe. Um, is there anything written of how they measure it though? I would be curious about it. Probably not. Only four Soviet measurements, measurements, measurements. Maybe method. The method used for calculating this point was that of the center of gravity of the geogra geometrical figure of Europe. This point is center of gravity of geometrical figure of Europe. Now, okay, so it is the only geographical center of Europe with recognition in the Guinness Book World of Records. So somehow they have built a model of it and the center of gravity of that model was Europas Parkas was this Purmuskis. Sorry, my little friend. Pur Purnuskis. 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 Apparently, there's also a museum. Open Air Museum of the Center of Europe. Yeah, wow, look at this. Well, that is pretty cool. I'm not too sure what this has to do with Europe. But this is pretty nice. I like this. It's the seats of the European Parliament in Brussels. Which, by the way, would add another dimension if we think of it in terms of, like, political center. But there's no political center of a geographical unit, except you think about it in the sense of the European Union. Which I did not in this case. Now, last but not least, if I google geographical center, we find all sorts of places, including the place from earlier, Suchowola in Poland, which in itself has built a monument, which is pretty cool. But that is not it. Also, in Germany we find various places. For example, Geographical Center of the European Union in 27 members. Got some flags, got some benches. Do they have, do they have 27 benches? Probably not. Middle point of the European Union. Yeah. But also here, not far away, former center of the European Union. So the European Union expands. Also some flags we can find here. Very nice. And here we also have geographic center of the EU, which is already 64 kilometers away. So I think away enough for it uh, to be a completely different measurement. How can this even be the center? How do you even measure it?
I think my box measurement was perhaps quite accurate to try to make the smallest um, square box around it or something and then just find the middle point but even then what about the water very difficult quite nice place yeah and so on and so forth here we have also middle point central europe with some kind of map an official sign however not recognized by the guinness book of world records and geometric geometric center not geographic geometric center of slovenia also pretty nice and you know if your geographical center of ukraine also can have a look at this somewhere wow well that's pretty nice also exists as a model here but even then geographical center of ukraine of course it looks like in the middle but from something like how do you you know all of these geographical center of london let's also have a look at this it's just here Frazier Street on the cor corner of Perman Street. Without any further remark, seems very unusual for London to not make a big thing out of it. Temporarily closed, all right. Well, but my point, I think I got it across that it is actually very difficult to determine the center of Europe. And, you know, thinking about all the places that claim to be the center is very difficult. It's very difficult. And I think that there either should be more than one center or no center um, or a center based on a certain measurement or it is left up to countries themselves but even then you know very difficult because to go all the way back one of the key questions is even what makes a center a center is it the one spot that has the same distance to the east and to the west and to the north and to the south or the same distance to all of these places or is it just kind of the point that is the furthest away from all of the borders which maybe is the same like what i said before should it also be a play be a place of significance what if it's just in the water because if you do google just europe you get a point here in the baltic sea and an image of paris and 63,000 pictures from, you know, all sorts of places, none of them being even close to be the center of Europe. However, the center of Europe is here in the water. Well, cannot say anything to that. And here we have a ghost point again. So yeah, is this the real center of Europe? Is this where Google thinks is the center of Europe? You know, to me, the most interesting or accurate thing I have seen is this map, that where also the last Europe point would fall in, all these Polish towns and the official Guinness Book of World Records Lithuanian town. So somewhere here should be the center of Europe if you was divided by the cardinal directions you know this is east west north south southeast west and so on and so forth so then you end up with all these geographical lines on the cardinal directions that are given 
you know they have you know you know that like the border from uh east to northeast is you know on a certain on a certain has a certain uh, how would it be called a certain number there is a certain it's a certain cardinal direction you know and then you can draw these lines for europe and they should all meet in one point if you draw them not only as lines but as kind of opening up like it's not just lines well it is just lines basically but they both it's also not because otherwise it would be an east west line here so it's kind of just mm. It's very complicated and it's very mathematical and I'm trying to make this a video that is kind of shedding a bit of light on the problem without being too mathematical. But having talked 20 minutes about it, I will leave it there for now and declare it a very difficult um, thing to do and will say that this map is the best thing there is if someone is interested. But do let me know in the comments if you are better with numbers than I am. Um, if you agree to this approach of using the cardinal directions, marking them on the map, finding a center spot and a kind of radius where that could be in. Well, you know, actually, what has been done here is you take the, let's say you take the... Um, Southwest, uh, southwest, the east west line and north south, and then you have this, and then you go in 45 degree angles away from it, and you do the same from all the from the midpoint in all of the directions, and you kind of end up at some point you decide to draw a circle, and I think this is really. not so helpful because where do you even put this like if you want to make a, if you want to start with north south and east west you have to let these two lines meet somewhere like they let them here meet in Lithuania but what if you did it in, over the UK then it would like all be over there like why is it here this is something I have to think about why is it there? Is there any explanation? I think not. I think this map was based on previous towns or previous measurements. So whoever made this map, Germish 19, knew about the other points and kind of made a bigger radius in the middle so that many of these other points could fit into and said, okay, well. The center of Europe is in this area here, but it is not necessarily a point. However, he gave us a middle point here, the town of Purnushkas. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So yeah, I think this is also inaccurate, but it kind of shows how actually something so mathematical, determining the middle of something, is a matter of uh, debate. Uh, <laughs> So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this perhaps a little bit different video. And I see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.